In this video, you will see how to stream events from your Java application into your Treasure Data account via the Treasure Agent. For this, we will make use of the TD Logger Java client libraries. Here is a visual representation of how this process works. The idea is to have your application build a map of key value pairs for each event in your input data stream and log each map to the locally running Treasure Agent. In turn, the Treasure Agent buffers, compresses, and uploads the event securely in message pack format, which is a form of binary compressed JSON, to Treasure Data's cloud infrastructure. Note that although this example is for Java applications, the same principle can be applied to the programming language of your choice. Treasure Data offers TD Logger client libraries for Ruby, Ruby on Rails, Python, PHP, Node.js, and a host of other programming languages. For more information, please visit docs.treasuredata.com. Next, we'll see how to set up the TD Logger client libraries for use by your Java application. For this example, we assume that you already have a local treasure agent up and running on your machine. If not, please watch the tutorial video on setting up the treasure agent. For the Java client libraries, we provide an all-in-one jar file that you can find under docs.treasuredata.com. Be sure to download the latest version of the TD Logger jar file with dependencies. If you're using an IDE like Eclipse, you can add this jar file as a reference library to your Java project. Alternatively, if you are using Maven, you can find the steps to get set up on docs.treasuredata.com. Next, you need to configure your Treasure Data properties file. Please create this file and add the following properties to it. Note you must ensure that the treasure data properties file is referenced by your Java class path. Finally, here is an example of how your Java application can use the TD Logger client library. This static block is where you initialize the TD Logger object and specify the database under which you want your event log in your treasure data account. In this example, we are logging events to the actions table under the Java demo database. Also, the doApp function in the code snippet merely demonstrates how you can populate a map of key value pairs constituting an event and log the event to the local treasure agent by using the log API call. Once again, this code snippet along with a detailed explanation can be found under docs.treasuredata.com. Next, I'll make use of a simple Java application to demonstrate how this process works. Here I have a simple Java app that reads the first thousand lines from a tab delimited file. Here you can see the tab delimited contents of the file. On reading each line, the application builds a map of attribute value pairs and publishes each event to the Treasure Data Cloud service via the Treasure Agent. Note that for the purposes of this demo, I have chosen to use a Java application that reads static events stored in a file. However, you could very easily replace my example with a real-world application that processes streaming events in real time. For example, a Java web service that logs client metadata every time it receives an API call. As before, in this example, I have initialized my Java code to post events to the actions table under the Java demo database under my treasure data account. Here is the demo account I will be sending these events to. Note that the Java demo database doesn't exist yet. Firing the events via the treasure agent will automatically create the database and table for me and populate the events therein. So I will now fire up my Java program and run it. Seems like all events have been published to the treasure agent running on my local machine. I go back to my console, hit refresh, and right off the bat, I see the Java demo database has been created with a thousand events. I click on the database and on the actions table, and voila, all events have been imported. 